Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing Watch Dogs 2. This kind of like limited time 3R demo experience allows you to get a taste for the main campaign of the story. Or if you wanted to, you can play the co-op. Or if you wanted to, you can play the online. Or if whatever the hell you want, it's just 3 hours. 3 hours of whatever you want to do in the game. So what my plan was is to continue on playing through the main campaign as much as I possibly can and see what I can complete in the first 3 hours. I'm essentially aiming for the goal of actually like getting at least one true content. So um, yeah, here we go. We're on to the next mission. But previous mission, we stole Kit, we drove it around the city, blew it up, and uh, yeah, now we're on to doing something bigger and better. Let's see what we got. New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. The DMCA takedown, annoying. I do like the fact they kind of show them doing bits and pieces like hackers do do in a way. I mean, lockpicking is a very, very kind of like throwing away their isolated, relaxed kind of methodical, practical skill. This could be big for us. Practiced and practical skill. We are so gonna I cut whatever. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. <laughs> they don't like us. I didn't want Josh to go. Gone. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint. Nice. Just not, not Cisco. In case anyone but him. There's, please. there's got to be another way. All right. I don't. Know. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay. We focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shows. Don't know of high. We check out the locals. Or a bit spectrumy. And dig up his file. Everybody in? In. It is getting crazy how much, <clears throat> because we are motion capturing like facial gestures, eye lines and stuff, the characters don't dead face or dead eye anymore, they actually do eye line back and forth between characters like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, right, uh-huh, uh-huh. ...have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DeathSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeathSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. It does feel like a lot of this stuff... <clears throat> Because DeadSec kind of like relates into um, a very, very kind of like mirrored version of West. A, a very mirrored version of um, the 4chan kind of like security core thing. What was it? What was the uh, one they did for Scientology? Oh, God. What? what I can't remember what name it was they called themselves. They ended up giving themselves on like... The, and call himself Sea Org. Sea Org is actually part of Scientology. It was something else. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case was a shit show. Full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology. Lies everywhere. False flags and fear mongering. They weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. He got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He said. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop that right there because I just keep on telling stories about my character. Um, I'll tell my own story. Thank you very much. 
else that? I'm actually looking. Oh, oh that must be one of the guys downstairs. Um, so where am I going? At me. I'm going to here. That means I need a car. What have we got in the nearby? We've got the motorcycles! It's another motorcycle, isn't it? Time to rock and roll! That was close. <laughs> Love the fact that things just explode whenever you run into them now. Up oh, there we go. Made the right turn. Made the right turn. Up oh, there, there goes the turn again. Oh, all right. There we go. Went straight past the Church of New Dawn that I was meant to be going to. All right. So I'm just going to abandon bike here. There. So am I hacking? I'm just going here. Yeah, start the mission. I'm probably going to stand outside and hack somebody as they come by or something like that. I don't know. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. By enlightenment, it only costs your life savings. Distracting enough for you? That's pretty distracting. You gonna go inside and take a peek or? Oh yeah. Oh, and I will. Oh, these were Sunday best. His best, best neckerchief. All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. So, after doing a quick scan in the building, I think I can see absolutely everybody that's here. Uh, anybody that's uh, of importance as a security problem. I think I got this kind of covered. Ah! That's what I... Is? Uh, 
Is that much, not much I can do from here? Is there? Can't get him through a window? I've got an idea. Oh, 30 minutes left of my trial. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's essentially just reminding me that I actually need to do that. Uh oh. How did I do that? What did I do there? Now I need to get this vehicle around. <laughs> where I have that door which to be honest isn't that difficult um I know that I just need to get there um let's do this okay okay Kidding me? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> so I need to actually make sure to get it a little bit higher rather than actually being on the same level. Uh, yep, here I am. I'm on it now.
Suspect is on the description of the target. Over. Require additional hands. Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? Such a, a simple kind of like... I have to so, uh, it's really just um, Scientology. Like every single one of these references is just another attack on something that actually exists in real life. And I'm mildly perturbed by it, but it's actually very entertaining in its own way. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy! Right. Right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session, if you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. Oh, is this mission still continued? Alright. Alright, so it's gonna come where I need to find somebody. Um. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Keep on driving. Here's <laughs> okay, the a kettle just whistling. Hey there, Jimmy. Hey, ghoul, what's up? I managed to snatch some new dawn clothes for you. Gotta look the part, right? Nice, thanks, man. No worries. Give him hell. Okay, I'm looking the part, doing the part. I'm gonna reprogram this guy, make sure he feels good. Let's go play psychiatrist. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. <laughs> I'm here for your audit. Okay. Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right. Uh, let's get started, huh? My sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as 
inspired as I used to be. Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. <laughs> it's one of those things where the guy even seems and looks a little bit too Tom Cruisey. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> But that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Ah, uh, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. <laughs> Not... <laughs> this is a bit sharp. A bit sharp? It's like, eh. Tom Cruise movies have been a bit shit as of late, but, um, that shit. All right. I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. You know, Jimmy Siska in. The Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there, sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. What the hell's this damn mission? There it is. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus. All the way. How did you get my number? Right. I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info. Uh -huh. Not the one I'm looking for. Where is uh there is that Miranda's one? Damn. Okay, uh nowhere can be that so I'm gonna go out to That's a bit far out. I mean, can I quick teleport to anywhere nearby? The closest place I can zoom to is first kiosk, I suppose. I mean, this I'm not, I'm not too concerned about actually taking too long to get there. It's just the fact that I'm down the last 30 minutes of this demo, so it might be worthwhile. Um, maybe me taking a quick break here and putting into the next mission so that you guys get a final episode where I can just do a little bit of commentary afterwards as well. But um, yeah, this has actually been kind of fun so far. Um, if you've enjoyed the show so far, make sure to actually hit the button up there, subscribe. You can actually see another a few episodes of me playing this game, playing Watch Dogs 2, in this like three-hour tech demo that we've been given. I need to be fairly quiet, fast with this because I need to move on to the next episode before we run out of time. So, uh, yes, subscribe button up there. That's if you want to see all our episodes. And over here on this side, this is actually previous episodes and other playlists on the channel. So make sure to check them out and see you all some other time. So until the next video, I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye. And threatened legal.